Tony. Good morning. Mate, fantastic to see you again. Long time no see. Mate, it's been a while. We've been we've been away. Well you've been away and I've been just training. How's the grind? It's good. Yeah, enjoying the grind. Dropped a bit of weight, very lean right now. Getting quicker and quicker. Faster in the ring, which is nice. Uh, cardio's gone through the roof, really enjoying the cardio like it the cardio now and managing to stay in longer in rounds. So that's been very good. And just, yeah, we've got a big heavy session today. Looking forward to you seeing how far I've come sparring wise. Get a bit of porridge in. How much you weigh now? Uh, about 77 kilos. So when we started out, we were, I think over 80. We were about 82. So about five kilos I've dropped. And what's the, what's the final weight? Uh, 76. So yeah, I, I can stay around here. I can even put a bit of weight on, to be honest. I'm, I'm trying to eat a bit more now um, to put some of that weight back on, because I think when I do a weight cut before the fight, I'll drop the weight pretty easy. I could take three or four kilos of water out. Anyway, so just managing that at the moment and, and just managing that with work, basically. Managing uh, the training schedule with work, trying to eat, sleep, get it all done. So. It's good, but this is the, the challenge I wanted. This is the this is that hardship that, that you need. And I've just given too much now to fucking ever lose this fight. I've sacrificed too much day in, day out. So I'm looking forward to it and I'm looking forward to the sweet taste of victory. And how many weeks out are we now? Three weeks. Yeah, it's pretty much exactly three weeks out. Maybe it's slightly longer. I think we're 22 days out. Final three weeks of training. Should be good. No, no injuries right now. No illness. Just feeling, feeling ready to go. And I think the last three weeks is going to be like a turbo. Just really getting up to that level. And I hope you see that today on the on the cam. I've I've tried to improve my boxing a lot recently. Working with a new coach now as well. Not just basically Paul and Samraz have both had other fighters. Um, so they've been away at certain times. Nate won. You know my mate Nate. Yeah, I saw that on your on yeah. YouTube. Yeah. He won. He won again in the on the Logan Paul card um, in the UK. So that was awesome. Paul was away for that. Samraz has had five for five knockouts of his fighters, um, traveling around Thailand. But my buddy from home came, Jack. He's called Jack as well. Good guy I've known since I was in school, and um, my best friend from back home. He's come out and he's. Uh, been he's been boxing for years so he's been helping me training me he's been coming around very nice been cooking my food for me as well sorting me out so we've been training together and really going hard like we always have me and him so that's been good he'll be at, you'll meet him at sparring today i think samraz will be there and paul will be there great you got the trifecta <laughs> got the trifecta yeah we will have the trifecta today the only camera's ever seen this no one's ever seen Jack cooking. <laughs> I know there's going to be loads of fucking carnival people in the in the chat as well. Oh, you should be eating oats. They're toxic to the body. <laughs> I've always loved porridge. Ever since I was younger, I've always had porridge before sport. What would what, you put on your porridge? Honey and um, I've got some frozen berries I'm going to add in. And that's it. A bit of this lovely milk. I'll set the biohackers off as well. Is that, is that raw milk or is that fucking pasteurised milk? Add a little bit of flavour. We actually haven't seen each other for like a month or so, right? No, like a, yeah, like a month. So uh, have you been off to Dubai in that time? Yeah, yeah, I went to Dubai. Oh, um, cool. I could only stay for three or four days to avoid missing too much training. Yeah. Dubai was nice actually. I got some sun, I chilled out, I just... Uh, I trained there pretty hard. They had a bag at the at the hotel, and a punch bag, and they had all the training gear. And the gym was 24 hours, 
So when I was in Dubai, I actually had a really good training schedule. I just went to sleep at eight, woke up at five, trained, worked in the, in the afternoon, actually. That's lucky. Yeah, it was nice. It was actually really nice. And what about Samu? I think there was a Samu trip planned. That, that was cancelled. Canned. Yeah, I cancelled that one. So I felt I couldn't get away from it for training. So I didn't go I didn't go on that one. We sent our friend instead um, to pick up some stuff we needed picking up from Samui. An old laptop of mine and some other stuff from my house in Samui. So we sent him instead, we had to cancel the flights and the hotels and shit. Because we just didn't want to go away and go on vacation basically. Right now in the fight camp, I think it a large part of the fight camp is feeling like you fucking deserve to win. Because you've given it all. And that's a large mental part I'm playing into at the moment. It's like I can't not win because I've suffered. So I try my hardest to make sure life is is hard. A Samu trip afterwards would be twice as good. Exactly. That's what we're waiting for. It's that sweet taste of victory. And that beautiful trip with beautiful girls. I haven't been having sex either. Which is incredibly difficult for me. I don't think I've done that since I was 16. When I first got into having sex, so. It's very hot. One of the main things you've got to watch out for when you're fighting is keeping your testosterone levels optimized, keeping them, keeping them high, because the amount of stress you're putting on your body in fight camp can bring your testosterone down so my supplement for doing that is a kingmaker supplement and it's worked it's worked a charm to be fair it's kept me in the game it's kept me kept me training and just kept me feeling good inside delicious and then I couple that up with the alpha grind coffee basically like a sort of like a pre-workout coffee with a nootropic as well so it really gets your brain firing Great stuff, don't have it every day of the week, but when you need that extra boost, these are the supplements to go for. Thank you to my friend, Robert Oliver, who sent me over these from Top Shelf Grind. And if you guys wanna check these out, they are in the link underneath this video. How different are Saturday mornings now compared to when you first got to Thailand? What, compared to when I first came in? Fucking different. What were you doing? The beach. The beach. Just walk past all them people downstairs I, I kid you not, I, I probably didn't get out of bed until after midday and I had a girl with me every Saturday morning for the first six months of being here. I mean, I just got well and truly into the women when I first arrived and now it's this, this beautiful place. <laughs> Bunch of sweaty, sweaty dudes instead. Sweaty dudes instead, punching each other in the face. That's how you get the girls. That's how you get the girls. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
is on hold. I've done a naughty, I've not wrapped my hands. It's my knuckle bit bruised, I think. It was a very good jab to it. Yeah. They were too new in the forehead. Yeah. Really good. Oh, 
Shut him down. <coughs> Wrap his hands up, heavy can. <coughs> That's fine, that's it. Five the round. Good practices. Come forward. Grab, pinch up, pinch up, pinch up, pinch up. You got 20 seconds, just survive the round. What you gotta do is survive the round. Body, you can't lose his body more. Yeah. Then clinch. Body then head. Body, body then head. So this, this is a really good lesson. Basically, when that happens, when you're getting home, when you start, yeah. think about what do people do whenever they're ill, when they're sick, when they're scared, when they're cold. Fetal position, right? It's, it's, it's the default position. But in boxing, it's no different. You can do it like a G as well. It's not, it's not being weak. It's actually being very intelligent. Your default position is to just bring your hands up. And he saw it. It's this. This is what I want to see. The hand's great. Very simple. It's very, very simple. We just gotta get so many different. Come on, yeah, so. You don't want to go. You know, I know it's the instinct, especially when you've got the kind of mind that you do. So you want to just fight it out to the death. That's beautiful. Yeah. But be smart about it. Get your shit together. Yeah. Three measure. Then have a fight. Yeah. yeah. When, it, when it's at the like final 20 seconds, whatever, or you've really been hit, just dial it all in. Close yeah. in. Close it down. Get some time. Then you come in there. Okay. It's about being able to create space for yourself to recover okay. within a fight. Yeah. No one cares if it's brave. You care about winning. <laughs> do you know what I mean? Do you want to be the brave guy to lose? Or you want to be this intelligent guy? Yeah. And he's really good at this. I'll show you. I'm going to show you some fights. It's Mayweather. Anytime he's got rock, he just puts it on. That's correct. That's one tactic that Mayweather always did. Um, it's the same thing that I said to Nate. If we ever did take a big punch, clinch, because then you get that extra rest to get your legs to recover. Skill in recovery within the fight. Samra said there, not only Mayweather but all boxers, but Mayweather is a good example because yeah. he did get punched, yeah. he got rocked, clinched, and that guy is like a technician. Yeah. You know, he knows all the, yeah. the, the tactics of a fight, and clinching is one of them, especially if you get hit. Yeah, you get hurt. You Yeah, you have to be sprinting. You know why? You know why that is? Because 
you're able to fire off four explosive four, like four explosive four piece even after eight rounds. Yeah. Even after getting piece up to the body. Yeah. So being able to generate that even when you're tired, that's showing that that explosive threshold is getting good. That's from the sprints. Good. Then when you're doing the runs and you feel like yeah. throwing up, yeah, 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 yeah. that's that there. Yeah. So the condition is 100% getting. Just ice six hands when you get home. Yeah. Just a bit bruised. Wasn't quite wrapped right, and you hit him in the forehead. Oh, you're fine. There we go. And we'll figure out a schedule. Yeah. Yeah. yeah Something would work. Yeah, we'll do it. We'll go. I'll tell you what, you, uh, we'll go to that calf down there if you want. Get you yeah. some rice. Yeah. Well earned rice. Yeah. yeah. Maybe three well earned rices. Yeah. Fucking hell. Yeah. What a treat. Maybe even a mango shake. Yeah, hey, you reckon? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Cool. Yeah, what are you thinking out there when you're standing outside in the rain? I was just praying to God. So God just give me that, give me the strength to keep to keep going. Just give me the strength to stay in there and be powerful and take it and just make me be strong and, and let me go back out there and do my best. Yeah, that's all I'm thinking. Yeah. Just trying to get those vibrations, those downloads. How's that looking, mate? <laughs> nice. Clubs in business, Tony. Yeah, there's not few I'm gonna pay themselves. No, and that hasn't been me for a while. Uh. Don't worry, I'll be making my return. I'm not out the game forever. I'm yeah, not retired. Is, I'm not retired yet. This fight is the prep for the return of the strip. Exactly. Club. Jack had to take a break so he could be an even better patron. Boom, boom, boom. <laughs> That's all this fight was about. That's yeah. what everyone misunderstands. Is it, everyone, this fight's actually for the Nana Plaza belt. Yeah. <laughs> everyone seems to think this is about like some sort of fitness, self improvement, martial art journey. You're joking. All this is is earning the strip club. You know what I'm saying? You just got to earn your strip club. <sighs> Sometimes you got to just knock someone out in the bikini so you can have a better time with strippers. Exactly. It was getting boring just doing it. Oh, hey. There's levels to being a patron of a strip club. That's the point. There's nothing quite like walking in there, champion with your, with your fucking entourage. Don't nobody know my total guys. Don't 